Hey guys, uh, good evening. Hello, hello, welcome back. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening, guys. Welcome. What is uh, what is going on? What is going on? What's up? Me a little bit better. <clears throat> Okay, from your stomach, right, uh, Connie? <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, that's nice. That is something good. That you feel better. That's great. Uh, did you finish uh, the treatment, the medicine? No, it's for seven days. Uh, continue, uh, the continue, the doctor right? Give me, yes, the doctor gave me antibiotic. <laughs> For seven days. Ah, the doctor gave you antibiotics. Antibiotics. All yes. right. The pronunciation is antibiotics. Antibiotics. That's right. Yes. Antibiotics for seven days. All for right. seven days. Pretty good. Pretty good. That you feel better. That's great. Okay. And later on, be careful with the food. Right. I continue with the chicken soup. With the diet. The diet. diet. Right. Correct. That is your, your diet. Chicken soup is delicious with noodles. Right? Yes, it's, it's with... delicious. Okay. Yeah, it's delicious. Very good. Angel, Angel Pineda. What's up, Angel? What's up? What's going on? In your life. What's Hello, teacher. Doing? Hello. What's up? Nothing new? What's uh, up? Nothing. Nothing. All, all good. Okay. Uh, we say everything is good. Everything is good. Okay. Everything is good. Yes. Si quiero usar la palabra all, it's different. I'm going to show you in this okay. moment. Okay. Uh, thank you, teacher. No problem, guys. Uh, whenever you can, cuando pueda, whenever you can, take your notes about the vocabulary that uh, that we that we use in the class. Ah, but today is uh, Wednesday. 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 Eleven. October, no thirty first. No. Eleven. It's, uh, yeah, October 11th. Yes, we are in the 11th day. Okay. Everything is okay. That is one option. Second option, if you want to use the word all, you have to say it's all. Okay. All right, Angel. Hello, Angel? Okay. You see it? Yes, okay. okay, teacher. All right. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. Susana, what's up, Susana? What's going on today with you, with your day? What's going on? I had a... Uh... Ah, that is simple. Fast. Okay. Remember, subject, a very complement. The subject is? I. I. Okay. What is the simple past of the verb have? Had. Had. This All right. Had. Uh, work. A lot of a lot of a lot of work. A lot of work. Correct. Very good. See guys, English is kind of simple if you try to use the structures that you know. It doesn't mean that you don't know. No significa que no sepa, right? But the practice it's a lot important when you speak. See? A subject. 
a verb in the simple past, in this case, and a complement, and that's it. Oh, uh, you had a lot of work. What do you do, Susana? What do you do? I'm wrong. I don't remember about your job. What do you do? What's your job, uh, Susana? But no, no, I am. Uh, distant. Um, um, okay. What is what is the the occupation or profession that you? Okay. Okay. I. I am. I am. A it's journal. correct. I am journalist. A attorney. Attorney, no. you said? Attorney is like, like a lawyer. Like no. a lawyer. Journalist. A journalist. Yes. I, I heard attorney and I, and I thought, wow, a lawyer. Uh, abogada, right? Attorney is a synonym. But you said journalist. Ah, yes. pretty good. That's right. And you, Gilbert, what is your, your profession or occupation? What do you do every day? Gilbert? Um, teacher, I am uh, a contaduría pública in English. Uh, a, a public account. A public, uh, I am an accountant in general terms. I am an accountant. That's it, accountant. That is a profession. Okay, that's that's good. All right, guys. Uh, but the class is not about jobs. No, not about jobs. All right. Uh, welcome, Ana Lucia, and let's see who else. And Gilbert. Thank you for connecting. Uh, let's see, let's open. We are going to see today what number of class uh, are we going to cover today? What class? Class number? Hello, hello? Class 12. 12. No. 12. Number 12, no. 12 is 11. 11, 11. 11. Yeah, the class number 11, yes. 12 is the tomorrow's class. That's right. Okay, welcome, guys. Uh, we are going to skip that. You know that if you have a camera, turn it on. Turn it on. Okay, and any questions that you have, you can ask. All right. Let's see. Let's go to check this about today's class. Hey, I want to ask you, uh, you like your hair in as you have it in this moment? You like your hair? Tell me, you like it or you hate it? Yes, I like my hair. How, how, how does, how does, how do you have your, your hair? How does it look like, Connie, your hair? How does it look like? My um, my hair is color uh, long black hair. Ah, okay. My hair is long. My hair is black. long black hair. Black. Ah, okay. Is that uh, the the length? La longitud, the length in, is your real length in the picture that you have? It seems kind of long. Long is por la cintura. Ah, por la cintura. ¿Cómo digo por la cintura in English? Ajá, <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. by, by my, by my hair. By my? My hair. Uh, can you spell it? Let's see. My long hair. Ah, no, no, no. Cintura no. in English. Oh. 
Mm, my back? Uh, uh, back, back is spelled. Ah, okay. <laughs> By my hip. Let's check if it's true. Is is hip is hip cintura? Let's check. Hip. Read the definition, please. Any of you, cualquiera. Area below the waist and above the left at either side of the body or jump that connects the left to the upper part of the body. Of the body. Is that true that the hip is cintura? Yes or no, according with this? Mm, yes. uh -huh. Hip, let's see. Hip. Cadera. Okay. Ah, but cintura. Let's check. Waist. 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 By my waist. waist. Yes. Ah, my hair is. Be my my, uh -huh. my, my hair. hair. My long hair is a, a waist. By my waist. Correct. Waist. Let's see. Waste. Thank you, teacher. Waste. All right, no problem. See, vocabulary, body vocabulary. Okay, pretty good. Let's see. Uh, Susana, you love your hair or you hate it? I love my hair. My you hair love. is curly and brown, uh, brown color and large. Enlarge. Okay. Curly hair is beautiful. I agree. My ex-girlfriend had a curly hair. <laughs> That's why. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. And a straight hair is beautiful too. I like, I like both. Angel, love it or hate it? Your, your hair. Angel? Teacher, uh, what is in Spanish to work? Uh, what is the word? Can you repeat it? Uh, ¿Cuál es en español las dos palabras? Ah, you love or hate? Like, in other, in other words. Do you like your hair? Do you like it? You love it? No, you mm -hmm. love it. Is it's like what is like, guys? What is like? Yes. Gustar. Uh -huh. Okay. Love is is very close in in meaning. In hate is the opposite. I oh, don't oh, like yeah. my hair. Correct. I, I, my hair. I, my hair is color black. Okay, black, black color. color. Is it yes. short? Short or long? Short teacher. Ah, okay, it's short. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, I see. You like it, you love it. Would you like a, a haircut? I love it, my hair. Okay, nice. You are fine with your hair. Yes. Yes, fine. yes. Okay. Um, what about yeah? <laughs> but but I, I think that uh, my hair it's um uh I don't know how to say. Poquito, a little. A little, correct, a little. Uh, a little uh, is um, wavy. In my, in my right. hair is wavy and uh, black. And black, wavy and black. Okay, pretty good. Okay, yeah, very good, guys. All right, let's see. Like your hair, some of you, you love your hair, some of you, maybe not much, okay? I like my hair as I have it in this moment. Okay, uh, today we are going to be speaking about, about this. Hair. Hair care. Hair care. Is hair important care. or not important? Yes, it's important. It's not important. important. A lot. You can use you can use quantifiers. No, it's a little bit important, a lot important, etc. Pretty good. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Erica, can you read uh, this part? This part, please. 
Okay. A woman, a woman go to uh, go to the. Hey, do you go to the beauty ah. salon? Ah, okay. Let's repeat again. We men, women. Women, sorry. Correct. Women, women go. Women go to, to the, the in the the places. Beauty salon. Beauty. Women go to the beauty salon. Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, of yes, course. teacher. What about what about men? Any gentlemen? Uh huh. Any gentlemen that can read this part? Men go to the barber shop. Correct. Very good. Women go to the beauty salon, and men go to the barber, barber shop. shop. All right. Very good. Let's see. We have the first question. Can you read it, uh, Carmen? Carmen. Hello. Can you Hello, read teacher. the sentence? This is a question. Can you read it? Uh, did you go to the beauty salon? No, I don't go to any beauty salon. I go to barber shops. Yes, I don't go to beauty salon. No, 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 no. You? See? <laughs> uh -huh, no, in any way. <laughs> No. <laughs> Jorge, do you go to uh, the beauty salon? Jorge Morales, do you go to the beauty salon? Uh, no, teacher. Uh, I I don't I do not visit a beauty salon. Uh, All right. I uh, I go the barber shop. I go to the barber shop. Very good. Okay. What, where do you go, guys, when you need to to, to get a haircut? Where do you go? What barbershop or beauty salon do you go to? Where do you go? Barbershop. I where? go to the barbershop every 15 days. Where? The, the, the place's name. The name, the name of the place. We have... Donald's is a one barber shop for men. What else? Donald's, I remember Donald's of one. Uh, guys, do you know any other barber shop? Girls, what beauty salon do you go to? I go to the beauty salon, uh, Telma. The name is Telma. Tell, tell me. Okay. All right. Pretty good. Who else? Where do you go? Where do you go? When you have a graduation, when you have a party, I imagine that you go to a beauty salon or a barbershop. Anybody? No? Yes, teacher. Daisy? All right. I, I, I go to the... A beauty salon when I have a celebration or a, a graduation. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Those, uh, those, those activities is when you go to a beauty salon. But the name. What are the names? Famous names of beauty salons that you know or barber shops. Uh, estilo salon. It's yes, a, a beauty salon. salon. Yeah, it's but famous. I, I don't recommend. <laughs> Why not? Why oh, don't you recommend that beauty salon? Why not? Tell to the class. Because, we, we need because, to know. Because when I went to the beauty salon, uh, uh, the, the, ¿cómo se dice? Vendedoras. Um, ah, okay. The sales, the sales, uh, sales people. The, the sales, sales people. Uh, the sales people, um, uh, to take a product, uh, in the hair, and when and and after, uh, she. I don't know how to say, but. Uh -huh. Okay. O sea, Los productos que le aplican a las personas al final eh, se los como que por obligación se los tienen que comprar. 
Oh, Así me pasa. Okay. Ah, okay, ahora en inglés. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, remember, order your ideas this way. Subject, a verb, a complement. Ah, the salesperson want you to buy products. Like that. Sales, yes. sales people. The sales, per, the sales people. Want you. When, want you. To buy products. To buy products. Um, as an obligation. That's it. <laughs> it's an obligation. That's it. Okay. Yeah, all right. But that is not good. In a beauty salon, no. Of course not. Okay, by JC's recommendation. What else? Uh, barbershops, the uh, boys, only Jorge and Angel and Gilbert and Oscar, of course. Do you know any barbershop, good or bad? You can mention, no problem. Good barbershops that you know. I go to the barber shop in uh, a small barber shop in the galer galeria. What is the name? What is the name? The sport, the sport barber. Ah, the sport barber. That's a new one, I guess. It's new. When, when, when came, what was a... Uh, I can watch soccer market on TV. Ah, yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, like this, I've seen it. You're right. They have, uh, they have TVs. They have drinks, right? In the yes. bar, I guess. Yes. Yeah, you can, you can request a drink. That is something cool in a barber shop. That's great. Okay, pretty good. All right, guys. Uh, oops, sorry. Let's go back. All right. You know, and you go to some barber shops and beauty salon. Okay. Important Teacher. question. Yes. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, I have a question. Question. All right. Go ahead. Uh, what is uh, the topic today? Ah, the topic is about uh, about our hair. Our hair. Like your, like your hair. Yes. In general, okay, in general idea is about hair, but we are using a specific questions, for example, like this one. Uh, let's see. Oscar, do you go to the beauty salon? I, I don't. You don't, of course. Don't. Okay. See. That's obvious, right? Okay. <laughs> and the question is with do. What is this question? Close or open question? Close or open? Close. Yeah, it's open. No. Uh, not open. Close question because in closed questions, you need one option or yes or no. Okay, that's it. No more. Do you go to, uh, to the barbershop? Any barbershop? Uh, Oscar, do you go to any barber shop for a haircut? Yes, yes, I, yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I yes, do. Yes, yes. Close question. All right, we are checking close questions. What about if I want to make an open question? Como hago una open question? How do I make it? Mm -hmm. Guys, ideas? How do I make open questions? When, where, when correct, WH words. Where, when you use where, where, what else? Where do you live, example? Who? Who, who do what, you live? Correct, what? Do you how, like? When? When, how, over WH, when? How? How, correct, very good. Why? Why, it's important, why? Why do you like your hair, example? When you begin the question with those WH, that means that is open question. Close question is the opposite. Uh-huh. 
What do you use to make close questions? What do you use? ¿Qué usa? Do you? Do. do or the does. Auxiliary. Do, does. Auxiliaries. Any type of auxiliaries. Do, be, uh, have, for example, etc. All right? And this is uh, like summarizing, como resumiendo, right? Open questions with these words. Close questions, basically, they are done with. ¿Se hacen con? Auxiliaries. With, with auxiliaries. Okay. Got it? Got it, got it? ¿Se entiende? Yes? yes. I got it, teacher. Okay. But try to practice them. Try to make questions. All right. Let's continue with, uh, with this. Important question, close or open? Check. Can you read it? Open. Question, open, open question. Teacher. Open, that's right. Okay, now read it. Read it. How often do How you often go? How often do you go? Ah, uh, to a barbershop? Not anymore. I don't go to any barbershop anymore. I don't need it. I got my hair myself, yo mismo, I caught it myself, believe it or not, créalo no, <laughs> I don't go, all right, and you, uh, do you go to the beauty salon, Carmen, how often do you go to the beauty salon, Carmen? Uh, teacher. Yeah? Never. <laughs> you never go, that's incredible in a girl, incredible in a girl. All right, Connie, how often? Hello. Oh. Hello, yes, Connie? Yes, yes, teacher. How often do you go to the beauty salon? I go at the beauty salon uh, maybe two months or three months. Okay, every okay. three months. Every two or, or, or three. Okay, all right, go ahead. Yeah, teacher, uh, I, can, I can a little bit listen, but it's raining. Ah, the rain, it's raining there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Try to get closer to the computer. Try to get close, no problem. What uh, yes. Oh, hi. Uh, I, I don't know, uh, spend in my haircut. Ah, okay. You are yeah. talking about about money, right? You don't spend. Oh. Uh, mm, I I have uh, 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 two years uh, uh, no visit uh, barber shop. Ah, okay, okay, got it. Cuando quiera decir. Ah, tengo tres días de no comer, de no dormir, de no ir, de no vestir. You uh -huh. have to say, debe decir, I have uh, two, two years, years not uh, to go, de no ir. Uh -huh. I ah. have two years not to go barbershop. To any, uh, a ninguna, to any barbershop. Bar bar okay, this way, ahí está. Not to go. Okay. Two years is a, is a long time. All right. Someone else? Someone else? Someone else? How often do you go to the beauty salon or barbershop? How often? Okay. All right. Let's see the next important question. Next question is, when you go, cuando va? When you go to a barbershop or beauty salon, read the question, guys. Please, can you read it? How much oh, do you spend in haircuts? Okay. When you go, when you have a party, when you have a graduation, etc. How much do you spend in a haircut? In the beauty salon or barbershop? How much? How much do you normally I, spend? I say, I, I pay for haircuts is 
seven or five dollars? Five or seven. Seven is kind of expensive for me. For me. Someone else? Teacher, in my case, uh, three dollars normally. Ah, uh, very cheap. At uh, the down, uh, downtown, at uh, downtown, central. Three dollars. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Ah, uh, yeah. In downtown, you can find cheap places, cheap barber shops. Correct. Okay, yes. but in a beauty salon, how much is is a haircut in a beauty salon? Girls, how much? How much is a haircut in the beauty in my salon? In case, I I spend three dollars or five dollars. In a beauty salon. Yes, I a haircut. Oh. Uh, las puntitas, entonces. Ah, the las puntas, puntas. Mm, let's see. Uh, let me see, sharp, no sharp, no. The ages, orillas, puntas. Okay, I don't remember exactly the word, but just give me one moment, I will remember. Okay, just, just a little bit. Ha, solo un poquitito. Okay, all right, but $3 is, is kind of good. Okay, no problem. Okay, guys, don't spend too much. Don't spend too much. No demasiado, right? Let's see, let's continue. Next. All right, we have this question close or open? Open. Mm -hmm. Open. Open. Can you read it, please? What brand of shampoo do you use? Uh, do Correct. you use? Yeah. What brand of shampoo do you use? Mm, I use. A bath, a bath and Body Works shampoos because they were a, they were a gift. All right, they were what? a present. Yes, they were a present. I didn't buy them. No los compré. They are expensive. <laughs> yes, I use <laughs> yes. Bath and Body Works, but they were a gift. Fue un regalo. Okay, and you? What brand of shampoo do you use, guys? I usually. Uh, the treatment, treat, treatment for my hair is shampoo, mascarilla, uh, conditioner. A conditioner, all right. Uh, a conditioner, okay. um, but other, I will say the name. A cream. Cream, uh -huh, right. cream. Thank you. Ah, but that is a special, that is a special mm -hmm. treatment, Connie. Not only yes. a normal brand. I, yes. Okay. But I pay the thirty dollar. Thirty, yeah, kind of expensive, yeah, thirty. All right, guys. Do you, what type of shampoo do you use? Tell me. Uh, teacher. Yeah, Angel. Uh, uh, normally I use uh, uh. No remember. <laughs> Head and shoulders. Yes, brand teacher brand is a marca or yeah, correct. Yes, there it is. Ah, okay. Okay. Brand. That's it. Uh, normally I use uh, head and shoulder. Okay, I knew it. <laughs> yes, I mean, I knew it. Head and shoulders. Okay, very good. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Uh okay, that's fine. Okay, that's good. Next, do you have Can you read it, guys? Read the Do question. Do you have, you have any, any dandruff, dandruff to, to, to do that to shampoo? To okay. Do you have any problem about dandruff is? Anti-caspa. No, that is Caspa. what it's you have. Caspa. 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 Yes. Caspa. Dandruff uh, due to the video. No, I don't, I teacher. Don't. All right, that means that the shampoo works fine for you. Okay, that's important. Okay, very good. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see. Uh, this is for you to practice uh, reading, guys. This link in this one, you're going to find tips, 
tips, tips about how to take care of your hair. But that is for you to read in, a, in your free time. In this moment, what is the indication? Uh, let's see, Erica, what's the indication or the, the topic for this activity? The uh, topic is uh, higher care, care in a space. Hair care in a space. What? Okay, let's find out. Indication, please. Uh, let's develop to next listening activities to see how astronauts take care of their hair. Oh, all right. Let's see. That seems kind of interesting. Okay, pretty good. Let's see. What shampoo does the astronaut have in the picture? What is that shampoo? Let's see if you recognize the brand of the shampoo. A baby shampoo. But what is the brand? What is the brand? You know any baby shampoo a brand? Johnson. Johnson. Ah, and the other one, the competence, uh-huh. What else? Menin. Menin. All right. Yes, they are the two shampoos for babies. That's it. But the astronaut is not a baby. Okay. Let's check this link. I'm going to open it. All right. It's a listening exercise, but we are going to do it. Okay. Uh, help me with the title, please. Uh, Ana Lucia. The title and the first two sentences, please. Hi, teacher. Hi. How to wash your hair in a spy? In a spy. Uh -huh. Astronaut, how to wash their hair too? Watch a scaring neighbor on the International Space Station. Show us how. How? Show us how. Do you think that is difficult to take care of your hair in a space or easy? Difficult or easy? Difficult. Easy. I think we are so. going to see. Difficult. We are going to check how the process is. But we have the instructions. The instructions are please, uh, Jacqueline. Can you read the instructions? Hi. Hello. Hello. Do the prepara preparation. Preparation. Task. Task. Ready. First. The watch the video. And the exercise okay. Remember to you can read the transcript uh, at, at any time. Yeah, at any time. Okay, no problem. Very good. The preparation. What is the preparation? What is the indication? Hello? Yes? How to wash your hair in space. All right. Match the word with the definition. Okay, very good. We have definitions and we have a specific words. Uh, Gilbert, what is the first definition? A cream liquid to make hair clean. A creamy liquid to make hair clean. To make hair clean. Mm. This is the definition. What is the word? What is the word? A creamy liquid says. A creamy liquid. Mm -hmm. What's Shampoo. that? Shampoo. Uh, according to the definition. I guess, yes, creo que sí. I guess it's shampoo. All right, very good. Let's see, Guillermo. Next definition, please. A flat piece of plastic with thin teeth used to make hair. 
Teddy. Ah, all right, all right. A flat piece of plastic with thin teeth used to make your hair tidy. Tidy is when you do this. But Peanut. what is what is a plastic object? Okay. What is a plastic object? Pasta. Uh, pasta. Pasta. Uh, but check. A flat piece of plastic, blah, blah, blah. Okay, what about if you copy and you look hey. for the definition in pictures? Let's see. Uh, there they are. Ahí están. What is uh, this? Comb. Comb. Yes. That's a comb. Peine. That, that's, that's a comb. comb. Yeah, that's a comb. Peine. Correct. Very good. Next definition. Two. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Ah, for example, uh, about this. Microphone, please. Microphone, please. Mute the microphone is if there is too much noise. Thank you. Okay. To shoot liquid out of a small opening like this. When you do this. What's that? It's quite It's quickly. It's quickly. It's quickly. Clean. It might be, puede ser, might be. Okay, next. The skin, the skin on the top, on the top of, of the hair. Ah, this is this is not your hair. This is the skin on the top of your hair. The, the scalp. The, is, what is the scalp? What is what is the scalp? Raspa, no. No, caspa is dandruff. Caspa is dandruff. Cuero cabelludo. El cuero, right? The scalp, correct. According with the definition, yes. The scalp is the skin on the top of your head. Okay, good. Next. Completely clean. Completely clean. Clean. Completely clean. Completely clean. What is that? A ponytail. A ponytail. Mm, a ponytail is a hair style. I don't think. Um, the skirt. Uh, to his, to his skirt. Mm, okay, no problem. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Next. Restricted. Restricted. That means? Limited. 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 Correct. Limited. Restricted limited. is limited. That's it. To Next. change from to change a from a liquid to a, a gas. From a liquid. Oh, okay. To change from a liquid to a gas. To evaporate. to evaporate. That's right. To evaporate. That's it. And finally, a type of hairstyle where hair is pulled back and tied so it hangs down. So it hangs down. Yes. That is the ponytail. Correct. Okay. Very good. That's it. All right. All right, with this exercise, we finish. Let's see how many they are correct. Ah, okay, nice. Oh, oh. But they are they are too incorrect. Check. This is Check. incorrect. And this That's is ah, it's the opposite, guys. In the opposite okay. answer to a squirt is this. And this one, completely clean, is as quickly, quickly, quickly clean. 
It's squeaky clean, limpiecísimo, limpiecito, etc. Okay, very good. Now let's watch the video about uh, what is what is her name? You remember in the indications? What is her name? The astronaut's name. Está lloviendo. Uh, ah, Tiene ahí la... Karen Naver. Microphones, please. Turn off your microphones. We are going to check this, this video. Okay. Hi there. I've had a lot of people ask me how I wash my hair in space, and I thought I'd, I'd show you how I do it. Let's see. To get started, these are the things I need. A bag of warm water, a little no-rinse shampoo, towel, and my comb. What I like to do is start by just putting some hot water, squirting it onto my scalp. And I have a mirror here so I can kind of watch what I'm doing. Sometimes the water gets away from you and you try and catch as much as you can. Then I just work the water up through to the ends of my hair. Then I take my no rinse shampoo and squirt it also on the scalp, just a little bit, and rub it in. Again, kind of working it out to the ends. And sometimes I'll actually take my comb to help work it all the way to the ends. And I like to take my towel while I have the shampoo in there and just kind of work it because without standing under running water, you kind of need to use the towel a little bit to help get some of the dirt out. I like to follow that by a little more water. It's called no rinse shampoo, but I think it's best if you use a little water with it. It feels kind of squeaky clean right now. now. I'll take the dry part of my towel. We use towels for quite a while here since we have limited supplies. We use them wisely. Okay. I think that's pretty good and now as my hair dries, as the water evaporates from my hair, uh, it will uh, become humidity in the air and then our air conditioning system will collect uh, that into condensate and it won't be long and our water processing system will turn that into drinking water. At the end I just do one final comb through to make sure there are no snarls and snags and while it dries I let, like to uh, let it stay stay free. I don't put it back in a ponytail while it's drying. And that is how I wash my hair in space on the International Space Station. Okay, for this uh, type of a video, sometimes you have the option to read the transcript. What the astronaut says, you can read it at the same time. We are going to check the video one more time while you follow the reading, okay? Just uh, give, give me one moment. I will replay it in this, in this moment. Okay. This is something good. You have the option to read the, the transcript. Here it is. Okay. Follow the reading while you listen. Hi there. I've had a lot of people ask me how I wash my hair in space, and I thought I'd, I'd show you how I do it. Let's see. To get started, these are the things I need. A bag of warm water, a little no-rinse shampoo, towel, and my comb. What I like to do is start by just putting some hot water, squirting it onto my scalp. And I have a mirror here so I can kind of watch what I'm doing. 
sometimes the water gets away from you and you try and catch as much as you can. Then I just work the water up through to the ends of my hair. Then I take my No Rinse Shampoo and squirt it also on the scalp, just a little bit, and rub it in. Again, kind of working it out to the ends. And sometimes I'll actually take my comb to help work it all the way to the ends. And I like to take my towel while I have the shampoo in there and just kind of work it. Because without standing under running water, you kind of need to use the towel a little bit to help get some of the dirt out. I like to follow that by a little more water. It's called No Rinse Shampoo, but I think it's best if you use a little water with it. It actually feels kind of squeaky clean right now. I'll take the dry part of my towel. We use towels for quite a while here since we have limited supplies. We use them wisely. There, I think that's pretty good. And now as my hair dries, as the water evaporates from my hair, uh, it will uh, become humidity in the air and then our air conditioning system will collect uh, that into condensate and it won't be long and our water processing system will turn that into drinking water. At the end, I just do one final comb through to make sure there are no snarls and snags. And while it dries, I like to, like to uh, let it stay, stay free. I don't put it back in a ponytail while it's drying. And that is how I wash my hair in space on the International Space Station. All right, that's it. And that was the video. Now, let's see if you remember the stages or the parts in which she does that process. What is the indication? Read. The instructions and put them in the correct order. Okay, according with the video, as we just watched, what is the correct order that she washes her hair in the space. What is the activity number one that she does in the video? You have, use, use a little, little more water. water. Use a little more water. No, no, okay. no. That sounds like the second time, right? It sounds like a second sentence. Yes. It couldn't be number one. So it should be a different one. Use your rinse and shampoo. Skirt. Squirt it, ah, it. it onto your scale and rub it, and rub, it yeah. rub it in. Mm, okay, that sounds that sounds like number one. Suena como la primera, yes. That sounds like number one, but I don't know. You help me out to make them in order. You agree? Agree or not? Cross the mirror to you see what you are doing. Ah, okay. This one, number number two. As number two or number one? What what number of activity? Activity one or activity two? This two is yeah. number two. Question two. Okay. It should be in this place. Okay. Use no rinse shampoo, squirt it onto your scalp and rub it in. Okay, activity number one. Activity two, watch in the mirror. To see what you are doing. 
to see what you are doing. Okay, very good. Let's see uh, Guillermo or Connie. What do you think is in the next activity after watching the mirror? When we shower, a little more pure. Uh, hot water on your scalp. Uh, when the shampoo is pure, you yes. In your hair, use a towel to get the dirt up. The dirt out. Okay, you say that is this one, number three. Okay, all right. Number four, activity number four. Uh, Angel or JC? Use a little more water, no? Use a little more water in this place. Mm. We are going to check in a moment. Okay. Mm. Next, what is the next activity? Use a uh, come to help work in the the way to the end of your hair. Your hair. Your hair. Okay. I will place it in, in this part. All right. It's there already. What is the next put, one? Put hot water on the, your scar. scar. Okay. After, after using the comb. Okay. Yes. Next. Next, next. This way, this way, guys. Can exactly. we to try, yes. Okay, let's see what happens if you selected the correct sentences yes. in the correct spaces. Okay, let's click on finish. Ta -da -da -da. Oh, no, no, no. Only oh two correct. Oh, what happened? ¿Qué pasó? What happened? Okay, make memory. Make memory. Number two is correct. One, two, three, four. And number two and five, they are correct. Okay, try again. Check. Watch in the mirror to see what you are doing. And number two is correct. Two, three, four, and number five. Use a comb to help work, to help work it all the way to the ends of your hair. Okay, try again. Let's see. Number one. Don't remember and the video or the transcript. What is number one? Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. These are things I need. Uh, a bag of warm water. Ah, what I like. Check. Read, guys. I like to, what I like to do. Is a star by. Just put some hot. Ah, okay. Hot ah, water. That, oh. that means that it's number one. What is number one? Yes. Put hot water oh. on your scalp. Correct. Put hot water on your scalp. That is number one. Number two. It's sure. It's weird in it. It's weird to to oh, my scalp. And, and I have a mirror. And I have a mirror. Here's so can I of watch what I'm doing. What I'm doing. Okay, but this is number two. Check. Squirting okay. in total. Uh-huh. Use no rinse. Use no rinse shampoo. Squirt into your scalp and rub it, it in, in. Rub it. Rub it. Rub it in. Rub it in. Correct. Rub it in. Okay. That means that is number two. That's right. Number three. Number watch three. In the meeting. Watch the mirror. A mirror. Ah, get get a mirror, right? You need to you need to see what you're doing. That's right. Watch in the mirror to see what you are doing. Perfect. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Okay. Next, ah, without reading, 
kind of difficult, right? Sin leer, yes. kind of difficult. <laughs> okay, that's why you need to pay attention to the reading. Next, next, next. Sometimes the water gets away from you and you try and catch as much as you can. Um, no sentence, right? Uh, no, no. According to that, no. Okay, let's continue reading. And I just work the water of throw to to in. Oh, okay, yeah, yes, I ends in my heart. Okay, so next. You, you, um, use a con to help work it all the way ends of your hair. This one. Yes. After the mirror, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, good, good. Uh, guys, because of the time, we cannot finish the second attempt about the exercise, but you can redo it. In your house, you can practice. You can explore the website. You can find many things, listening exercises, reading, writing, etc. The link is in the presentation there it is okay but just uh, just check oh number one correct ah but these ones they changed to correct ones they can be wrong right check but they are not yet correct todavía no okay but you can redo this exercise all right, guys, thank you so much for attending the lesson. Thank you. Okay, for teacher. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Bye. Have a good bye. night. Bye. 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 Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you. Good thank night, you. Teacher. Have a great night. Thank you, Connie. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Thanks.